Hello, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing the November reading for our Virgos. And we are going to be doing the theme of the month that we've been doing the last couple months. We'll be getting a little bit more information from this deck that I love to use every time. Uh, we will also be checking in with Archangel Michael for some more guidance. And lastly, messages from your angels, which I consider kind of uh, the goofy angels. So uh, we'll get some information from them about what this month of November is going to hold for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, we have the Seven of Earth card, or I'm sorry, Seven of Air card that's coming through for you as a theme for the month. What this is really about, air cards are all about the head, the intellect, what's kind of going on upstairs. And what this is really about is needing to change your plans. So um, what happens is uh, with this card, typically there's more going on than you are, um, than it looks like on the surface. So kind of behind the scenes, there, there's more things that are happening. And you, as that comes to light, you're going to need to change your plans. And it's just a matter of kind of poor timing. Like it just, you maybe rush things or it just timing wise, it's not working out for you. Okay. Um, so not a good thing or a bad thing. It's just, it just is. Okay. So just accepting that and moving forward is what they would like you to do for the month of November. All right. Let's see what else we have for you. So we've got the two of earth. Um, the earth cards are all about how you make your money and what you need to do to be here on earth grounded. And this is about um, too much going on. So um, partly the timing piece of things with that theme card might be about you're just taking on too much right now. Like you're trying to do too much at once. And when you do that, of course, then your energy is so split that nothing gets your full attention and then things just don't manifest like you would really like them to. Um, um, so you need to make a decision. There's got to be some things that you let go of and you need to decide what you're going to focus on for this month, okay? And I really encourage you that you do this based on what your heart feels, not what other people tell you or not what you think should be your focus, but what do you feel, okay? Um, and going with that and just being, you know, having more fun with it. I mean, that's the other piece of it. I think of like the Tinkerbell thing, um, where you know it's it's that sort of lighthearted energy right and so tinkerbell it i guess is what i'm, I'm gonna I'm going to coin that, tinkerbell it, and just be lighter and more playful about the decision. Quit taking things so flippin' seriously, right? Okay. Um, and then we have the Emperor, which is Archangel Michael, and this is about organization and logic. So those of you that are on the cusp and have watched the Leo reading are going to see a familiar card here because this is um, also coming up for the Virgos. And um, Archangel Michael is this one and let you know in order for you to get things done, you've got to create some systems. You've got to have a, some structure, some logic, uh, you know, a way of doing things that isn't going to drive you crazy because it's like you're reinventing the wheel all the time. And good leaders are are good, are very organized, right? Um, and that's part of your skill set is being a leader. But you've got to get yourself organized. If you want your people to be organized, you've got to get organized as well. Okay. And then Archangel Haniel is coming through. And this is the moon. Um, yeah. Well, a high priestess. Sorry. Um, this is the high priestess card. And what's coming through around this is about listening to your intuition. So when Haniel comes in, this is always about... Um, you needing that reminder that you have the answers, okay? You are being guided and you're getting that guidance, but you're not been, you've not been great about listening to it, okay? And you maybe after the fact are like, oh yeah, I should have done that. Or, oh yeah, I thought about that. Or that's what was coming to me, but I didn't do it, right? So following your intuition is really important. And then, you know, a big piece of that is, is, before you take action, really feeling like, does this feel like something that is right and true for me? Am I in alignment with this? Okay, so carefully consider that before you take action. So having a little bit more patience because you tend to like jump, jump into things, right? Virgo, jump into that, jump into this, jump into the other thing, right? Too much going on at once. There's your answer saying yes to too many things, right? 
So take your time before making decisions. Okay, let's see what Archangel Michael has for you for the month of November. Yeah, so again, they're kind of hammering you over the head, uh, Virgos, but take your time making that freaking decision. Um, so take your time with the decision. Don't be making this decision quickly and lightly. Uh, take your time with it. So Archangel Michael is just re, re, um, reverberating that. Um, you also need to get some energy healing work, okay? So there's some stuff mucked up in your energy field, and getting some energy healing work is going to help clear that out, so you'll, you'll be able to think more clearly um, as you clear that out as well. And one of the things that I just want to mention feng shui-wise is if you're not feeling like you can think clearly, lots of times that's because you've got clutter on horizontal surfaces. So if you have a lot of stuff piled on horizontal surfaces and you're having trouble thinking, try taking some time to clear that off. You know, put it in files that are upright. Get a, a two-drawer lateral file, right? Um, get those things off the horizontal surfaces and you will actually find that your vision and your you'll feel more clear you'll have more clarity and be able to focus better, okay? Uh, that's something around that. But the healing work will also help um, clear out some of the stuck, I just feel like there's stuck energy in your body. So energy healing work can be, um, oh gosh, there's so many different forms that you can do Reiki, um, Rolfing, um, biofeedback, um, you know, uh, uh, MFR, which is myofascial release, you can do, um, oh, there's all kinds of different things, EFT, you know, many, many different things, emotion processing type of stuff is like that too, so lots of different things, but, um, and you'll be, you'll be guided as to who you should work with, so pay attention to that and follow that guidance, um, and then Michael wants to let you know that God is in charge, so you really, you know, us in our physical forms, this is the thing, and some people are like, oh, well, I, I still free will. Yes, you do. You have free will to make mistakes as much as you want, right? But the thing about it is, is that us and our physical bodies and our physical selves are limited. We don't know the plan, okay? Our higher wisdom knows the plan. God knows the plan. Source knows the plan. Your angels and guides, they know the plan. So let them lead you the way that is going to be easy and effortless and fun and flow, right? Let them do that for you. So, all right, kind of, uh, kind of forceful the angels are with that one. Right? You're not in charge. Let go. Surrender. Best advice ever. Not always the easiest advice to take, I know from experience, but dang, once you let go, things just open up. The world is your oyster, believe me. Okay, uh, so Aurora, uh, this is an um, interesting card for you. So Aurora is coming through, this is Angel Aurora, and what this is really about is letting you know that when you get to a place where you are um, being more successful and things are flowing for you, people get jealous. Um, they're like, why am I not there? You know, why is she there? And they may threaten you, you know, as far as just... Um, putting you down or doing things that don't feel very good. Please, please, please do not go down to their level. Stay up where you are and inspire them to join you. You cannot help them by going down there. Even though you think, oh, I could just put an arm down and pull them up. No, you can't. It's their work. It's not your work to do that. It's their work. Let them do their work, right? Stay where you are, inspire them, and then when they came up, come up, you can, you know, cheer them on and congratulate them and all that stuff, um, but you cannot help them by going down to where they are, okay? Um, you need to have some patience. So this is um, the angel, uh, angel patience, um, uh, and this is actually, it's a little bit more, you know, it's not, a, it's, 
on the surface it's not about patience even though that's the angel's name it's about studying and it's about learning and I think that does take patience because when you're studying and learning things you don't always get them right away and so that's where I think the the sort of patience comes in but you are meant to learn and absorb more um, before you move forward uh, around some things so and it might just be another piece of the puzzle like for me I've got a number of different things that I do I'm a you know obviously a, a psychic I um, do I'm a feng shui expert and I also do coaching so there's a number of different things that I do and all those pieces didn't come to me all at once you know they gave me one thing I studied that learned that and then the next thing right so um, that's where I feel like you guys are okay and then Angel Lila is coming through, and this is about spending time alone. So you really need to get out in nature, get quiet, so that you can get the answers that are coming through that you have, okay? So you have the guidance that's there for you. Archangel Haniel talks about that intuition coming, and you've got it. Just get quiet so that you can hear them, okay? Just get quiet. All right, that's what I have for you, Virgos, for the month of November. Now, if you would like more information, I do offer a deep dive reading every month for each one of the zodiac signs. And this is a reading that covers more in depth your health, career, finances, and romantic relationships. Okay, it costs less than a cup of coffee, so I'm not making, not really making money at it. It's just, um, uh, more of a coaching format in that I, I do the reading, but then I'm also giving you action steps, right? And I'm coaching you through some of these things and giving you, um, you know, sort of my documents and my, um, my um, time-tested processes and things like that. So it's really a, a valuable tool to be able to help you navigate your month with ease and grace. So if you haven't checked out the Deep Dive reading, click the link below. Check it out. Come join us. You can even just purchase a single reading if you want to see what they're about. And um, we'll see you either on the deep dive or I'll see you next month, Virgos. Make sure you take time to relax, have fun, and enjoy your life. Much love to you.